Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Welcome to vlogist day 11. It's actually towards the end of the day on day 11, but I wanted to pop on here. I haven't had a chance to do much of vlogging today. Today kind of consisted of just doing some housework and laundry and you know frankly I think that is boring at times but yesterday I had gone to Aldi's you saw in the vlog and I also hit up the Dollar Tree and did a Dollar Tree haul etc um but I wanted to talk about one of the items that I picked up at Aldi's and um I like to talk about this kind of stuff because you know how sometimes you see things like in Aldi's like in their middle section where they have like a lot of home items, decor items, like right now they have like a lot of back to school stuff and everything. Um, but I have been needing a Wi-Fi extender for the, to get more Wi-Fi in the upstairs of the house. And this one is this Magneon one that I found. It was like $29, again, at Aldi's. And it's, it was so easy to set up. It literally was, I found my front, my front room downstairs had an outlet. I plugged it into there. Now, I will say it did take me a little bit to figure out how to get it connected. Um, but I just Googled... I just searched YouTube for Magneon Wi-Fi extender setup and I found a like a four or five minute YouTube video and it was really easy to figure out how to set it up. Um, there actually is like a PDF that you can download with full instructions because it actually doesn't come with like complete instructions. The instructions that come with this do not tell you exactly how to set it up. Let's just put it this way. Anyways, I got it set up and installed. I connected my laptop to it and I also connected my phone with it and I can say that it really has increased my um, Wi-Fi up here so I'm pretty excited about it. I think I'm gonna try to in the next couple of days I'm gonna try to test like I had no, I know I haven't gone live on this channel in eons and I think I'm gonna try to go live in the next couple of days uh, with my phone so that I can actually check to see how the you know live internet connection happens using the Wi-Fi extender but anyways give this a shot it's only $29 and right now like I said it seems to be working like a dream I brought up a couple of items here to work on in the bedroom while I'm watching I've been watching um I've been binge watching catfish the tv show for some reason i'm like totally obsessed with this this show but i got another item in the mail that i actually need to get set up and test and do a review on amazon for so okay let me explain so let me explain this you might have saw in one of my older vlogs that i like showed a drone or had some drone footage i bought a drone probably about a year ago uh, off of Amazon and did a review on it. I really, really liked the drone. And after I did that review, for some reason, that same drone company actually reached out to me and said, can we send you another drone for free if you take the time to learn how to use it and do a review on Amazon? And I'm like, sure, free drone, why not? And so they sent me another drone. I reviewed it put the review up on Amazon. Um, this There's another company now that reached out to me and they said, would you mind testing out and reviewing this drone for us? Now, what happens is a lot of these companies, there is a lot of competition with various products on Amazon, but just taking Joan drones, for example, if you search easy beginner drone or beginner drone on Amazon, you're going to find a gajillion options, right? So these companies are reaching out to people trying to say, hey, would you please give our drone a shot? Give us an honest review on our uh, Amazon store and we will in turn send you the drone for free. So this company said it's a kid, it's a kid's drone. It doesn't have a camera or anything attached to it. So it's not anything that I would like use like moving forward. But what I thought I would do is I would review the drone for them and then possibly give it to my nephews. Um, I have two nephews and a niece. Uh, 
that I could that I know they definitely would probably get a kick out of using the drone and playing around with it. So this is the drone that they sent me in the mail. And so now what I have to do is I just have to like charge it up, get it, um, make sure that the battery and everything is all charged so that tomorrow I can kind of take it out and test it. But this is supposed to be like a one push take off and land and just like a really, really simple drone. Look how cute it is. It is so adorable. Comes with a lot of instructions. And let me just take this top off here. I love playing with drones. Look how cute this drone is. Too bad this didn't have a camera because this would be awesome to travel. So what I have to do basically, it actually comes with two batteries so i am just going to take these batteries and like plug them in and charge them up for a while and then which there we go i got it plugged in it's charging up right now um let those charge up for a while according to the directions so that i can give this like an honest review take off and land it has like a little remote control so that's kind of like the project that I got rolling with you guys right now. Project number two is I'm going to be finally moving into uh, a different purse. I got this purse, geez, I can't remember when I got it. I think I got this purse when I was visiting Scotland, actually. And what I liked about it, it's uh, it's a Steve Madden white. Um, it looks like it's leather. I have no idea if it is leather. But what I really liked about it is I liked the inside, had this black and white stripes. And it actually was what they call a purse in a purse. So it came with another purse inside of it. Um, this handle can actually come off and be used as a long handle for this one. So um, I don't think I'll be using this quite yet. I have a little pink purse insert. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to be using this yet. But I actually got this also in Scotland uh, at Primark. But I love the nice little side pockets and just the pinky color of it was really cool so we're gonna put some stuff in there and then i have this new wallet i got this wallet probably about like a month ago um at a coach outlet in the local mall of ours but it's just a coach kind of a white it's actually not the same white as this it's a little bit of an off white but until i can find a pure white leather wallet <laughs> This is what I'm going with. So I'm going to switch everything over from my purse that I have here. I love this purse, I have to tell you. I got this at TJ Maxx. Um, this is a Calvin Klein backpack, and I just love all the zips across the front. I love the hidden pocket in here is awesome for your wallet, or I keep a metal straw in there. So that's the first thing I'm going to move out is my straw. I'm just checking my zips in here to see if I have anything weird, <laughs> anything that I need to throw out, like receipts, stuff like that. You know, you get so many receipts and stuff. I think I'm gonna keep my straw right inside this little leather pocket here, easy access to, and I won't forget it. Business cards, there's so much stuff I have to sort out. This is my mobile hotspot, my MiFi. You know, I think I am gonna use this to organize stuff, so I'm gonna put my MiFi inside of one of these little front side pockets here. I think this will help organize things for me. I have my little Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer and I'm gonna snap this. This little pink thing has a little inside little snap for it meant for keys. I'm gonna snap this right there so that I always will know where it is. Here is my wallet that I'm gonna be moving out of. I love this wallet because it has the same, even though it's a Kate Spade, it has the same material as this bag, and I just love it. I also have a matching Kate Spade business card holder, which I'm gonna put these business cards in as well. So I have all my business cards together. That we will keep in here. Side pockets of the pink organizer. Oh, postage receipt, car keys, one of the pockets. That's what I love about that thing. 
This is my little, uh, what I call like my tech bag where I have like char um, uh, wired ear pods and charging cords, which I'm missing my charging cords from, so I need to actually locate those. A glasses case for my shades, which I will put in here because my shades are downstairs. A uh, makeup bag, which I will totally sort out afterwards, but I know I have way too much stuff in here right now, but I do have my makeup bag. See, I'm literally just shoving in. I think what happens is whenever I pull out like a lipstick and like a lip gloss to wear for the day, I like shove them in here while I'm carrying them around and then I never take them out at the end of the day. This is my house keys. Put my house keys in one of the pockets, one of these side pockets. Okay, I have two Diva ring lights. Do not need to carry two of them with me. So I'm just gonna carry one with me. I have a portable tripod. Oh, this is my easy pass. That needs to go in my car. And I have my case for my Bose headset. Let me just put those in here. Fun stuff, I know, guys. Fun stuff. Purse is officially empty. I finished, just got finished moving all of this stuff into my um, my new wallet. What I really like about this one is that my phone, even with the case, can still fit inside my new wallet. So like if I just wanted to run into the store really quick, I can just pull this out, you know, with like my car keys or whatever and be able to run into the store. The other thing, so let's put this in here and then the only other thing I have that I would normally like if I had to run out somewhere um, if I needed to like this still has plenty of room for my planner so I can put my planner here on this side and I still would have room if I wanted to I still would have plenty of room and it would fit my my 13 inch computer would still be able to fit right in there perfectly fine. So I got everything moved into this just fine. I just kind of give you guys an overview as to what it looks like in there. Let's see if I can hold it up for you. Everything's pretty much organized with this little organize holder. Everything fits in absolutely perfectly. And if I want to, when I'm running around, I can take my can I can take my phone and just put it right in the front here if I want to, or I can put it inside my wallet while I'm running around. That is going to be it for the vlog today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot for hanging out with me while I transfer everything into my new purse. You guys be awesome. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'm gonna chat with you in my next vlog. Bye, guys.